The audio DAC is currently offered on six DSPIC 33F devices. These devices have 64 and 128 kilobytes of flash and can operate at 40 MIPS. Four of these devices can be found in the general purpose family and the other two devices can be found in the motor control family. Now let's take a closer look at what these devices have to offer. Here are the four general purpose devices, two of which are 28 pin and the other two are 44 pin count devices. The 28 pin count devices only offer the positive negative DAC outputs. Here are the two devices that include the audio DAC and the motor control family. Both devices are in the 44 pin count package. The only difference between the two devices is the flash size. Hardware support. Microchip currently offers two development boards that can be used with the Audio Pigtail Plus daughter board that supports the audio deck. The Explorer 16 development board as shown in the figure and the 16-bit 28-pin starter board. The Audio Pigtail Plus daughter board demonstrates a low-cost audio playback solution using pulse width modulation technique. For more information on the Audio Pigtail Plus daughter board, please refer to the webinar on Microchip's Digital Signal Controller Speech and Audio Solution. Newest DSPIC devices with on-chip DAC modules expand ever-growing microchip audio solutions. The speech and audio solutions can be classified into three groups. The speech coding algorithms are used for purposes of changing the representation of speech signals with an objective to save memory requirements and bandwidth. The speech processing libraries are useful for processing the digitized speech signal, eliminate hardware burden, and improve audio speech quality. The speech and audio hardware represents hardware boards which are useful for demonstrating and testing speech and audio applications. The speech processing algorithms comprise of signal processing algorithms that perform different functions on speech signals. The noise suppression algorithm reduces the background noise. The acoustic echo cancellation reduces the echo due to the acoustic coupling between a speaker and microphone. Line echo cancellation reduces the echo from appearance mismatch in telecommunication networks. The speech recognition library provides a speaker independent speech recognition system which can be used to implement a speech based command interface. The speech coding libraries can be classified into waveform coders and vocoders. Waveform coders exploit redundancies in the signal waveforms to decrease the number of bits used to represent a speech frame. G.711 and G.726A are examples of waveform coders. Vocoders encode a speech frame as a set of parameters. These parameters are then used by the decoder to regenerate the corresponding speech signal. The speaks algorithm is an example of a vocoder. Typically, vocoders are capable of better compression than waveform coders, but they require more computational resources. Any of the speech coding libraries can be used with a DAC module. From the previous slide, we looked at software libraries that can be used with the audio DAC for applications that use speech playback. Such applications are security alarms, talking toys, voice instructions, even walkie talkies and Bluetooth headsets. Want more information? Here is a list of references for a more detailed understanding of the D to A converter and the delta sigma process. Thank you.